day 94. I was thinking to myself right before I made this, you know, every time I was thinking, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. And I was talking to my team tonight about my event, which as I shoot this video is coming up this weekend, January 30th and 31st, we have this sold out 1400 seat event. And one of the things Carrie, <coughs> my assistant said is that, um, when I do a thing where I take someone up onto the stage, I get all kinds of new content comes out of me because I get very specific about that person's specific issues. And she's right. Whenever I do something and I get very specific, like someone says, I'm, I'm scared about this one thing, I can suddenly do a half an hour of content all of a sudden. And the reason is because that person gave me a specific thing to talk about and why this is so huge is because and I, I talk about this at events and I, I guess I don't think I've done this in any of the videos so it's just coming up to me to talk about this here we have an infinite amount of things that we could talk about that we could write a book about that we could whatever and one of the reasons it's hard to come up with things most people think I don't have anything and what they don't know is actually happening is when they think what do I write about all kinds of ideas show up at the surface and they usually skip over them and keep going and going because they're trying to find the right thing whatever their mind has qualified as the right thing to talk about and what my point is is that it's not that you have nothing to say it's that we all have way too many things to say there is such an unlimited infinite amount of content that you have for the rest of your life like you could be talking all the time and the reason I, I mean talking is like Whenever you're looking for an idea, you have an infinite amount of ideas. You just got to get specific. So I always talk to people at my events and I say, you know, if you're talking about trying to come up with writing a book, you're, you, most people get stumped. But if you were like, I'm going to write about my dad, you start to narrow it down. And if you say, I'm going to write about my dad when I was 16 and he took me to Denny's once, all of a sudden you make it much more narrow and you suddenly will have more content. So the smaller the category that you talk about, the more content you'll have. Most people try to keep their field wide open and then it's too overwhelming so they can't come up with anything because they just kind of go into the beginnings of each thing and then say, eh, that's not the right thing. And I know this and I always use this as an example at my events because I always say to people when I play, I play piano by ear and I say to people, name a song. And almost all the time when I say name any song, I want to play it. I want to see if I can play it for you. Almost every time no one can name anything. Like I watch people just get totally stumped and it's fascinating because there's 92 million songs and people go, I don't, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what song, <laughs> I don't know what song to say. If I say name a Michael Jackson song, I get an answer much faster. If I say name a Michael Jackson song on the Thriller album, I'll get an answer even quicker because I'm narrowing it down. So when they had 92 million songs to choose from, they couldn't do it. When they had eight songs to choose from, they could really quickly. If I said choose one, Billie Jean or Beat It, they would have an answer really quickly. So. It's fascinating because we trick ourselves into thinking that we have nothing to give to the world. We have nothing to say. We have no content. We have nothing. And the truth is we have so many things. However long you've been alive is how much experience you have. Every second of your life was experience, was growth. And most peop many people think, no, -uh, not for me. I just sat on the couch and watched TV most of my life or whatever. And they don't understand that's an experience. That's an experience that you sat on the couch. That's content. That's you could be making a YouTube series reviewing TV shows. And, you know, someone like Roger Ebert made a career out of that. You know, he could just say, well, all I do is watch movies. There's no value in me. No, there's a ton of value in you. You you can be a critic. You can tell other people that are gonna go spend their money at the movies how to have a better night by going to one that you recommend and why you recommend it. So even if you spent 30 years having an incredible relationship, you have information that people need. And if you spent 30 years getting out of relationships over and over and over again, you have a book right there on how to bounce back. So you could have like how to have the greatest relationship, how to bounce out, bounce back when you go through a breakup, 
how to keep going, how to let go of someone, whatever it is, you have an infinite amount of content. And I love to work with people. I do a lot of little small group retreats and I show them how to break it down and I'll ask them to write out all these things that they love and all these things that they are good at and that they know. And almost always it starts out very slow, but the farther they go in, the more that comes out. So they write faster and faster and faster. Once they get, you'd think after 20 minutes they'd run out of things, but they get more and more and more. And when I do my events, I speak for two full days for 10 hours a day usually, maybe eight to 10 hours a day. And people always go, I don't know how you get so much material. And I'm going, because I keep going. And it gets easier and easier and easier to find material the longer I go. I've done seven day retreats. And when I get to day four, I have so much content that's coming through. And it's because I went deeper and deeper and deeper. So think of the idea sphere or the things that you have as like an ocean. And most people are just putting their toe in the very beginning and they go, I, I, you know, this is how deep the water is, so I don't have, no, if you keep walking, you will discover that there is a full ocean of infinite content, of infinite possibilities. And the only reason you have a hard time is because how do you pick and this entire ocean. Well, what you do is you just pick one thing and start talking about it. You could get up to your neck in the ocean and just grab a crab and go, I'm gonna talk about this crab for, for a while and write an entire book on this one crab. Well, you know how much life and how much everything is in that ocean. So all you have to do is understand that this place, this invisible place that all your ideas come from, all your infinite content, is like this ocean and most people don't tap into this world they tap into the physical world they tap into the world of what they already see and that's really boring because you're taking content that's already been put out into the world and reshowing it so when people are trying to make their company big and they go how do i do it and then they do what another company already did you're just handing the world what it already has but understand that in the invisible world, there is an ocean of infinite possibilities that is waiting for you to grab it and bring it into form. New possibilities of ideas and all kinds of different things that are like sitting around floating behind you waiting for you to bring it into form. And it's all there and all you have to do is grab anything and you don't have to get choosy about which thing even because everything is equal content. You going, is it this thing or is this thing, makes the thing bigger than you. And your job is instead to just get excited about grabbing anything and writing a book about it or writing, you know, doing a podcast out of it. It doesn't matter what it is. Taking anything and talking about it for a while, it'll eventually become your passion. A lot of times people think passion drives action and also action drives passion. If you do one thing over and over and over and over again with anything, you could pick anything in your house. Look around your house, find anything, and you'll find that there's a history about the thing that you're looking at. Like I'm looking at a vase right now and immediately my mind goes, oh, you could write a book on vases. You could go research it. I won't at all. There's no interest in that. But I'm saying a human could. And when people are like, how do I create and tap into it? Pick anything, anything. The first thing that shows up, because you're gonna have infinite. It's not, people always go, wow, you always know what to say right away. No, I'm just saying the first thing that shows up. There was a sea of an infinite of other, other things that could have shown up, that just showed up first, so I'm using it. So I'm just using whatever just pops right into my face and then saying it. So understand every human being has that. And all you have to do is just enjoy getting specific and going with whatever shows up and that you have an infinite amount of things that you could write about, talk about. Um, you know, all these ideas are here for you to create and bring yourself from this invisible realm into the, into the real, into the visual world. And it's available for all of us. It's called using your imagination. And we were taught that in, probably in preschool and then they stopped telling us to use that at like kindergarten and through, through college. Now stop using your imagination because I want to tell you about all the crap that already exists. Take a history class. Take a class on math. Here's, here's what already exists. Screw your imagination. Don't daydream. Don't do anything like that because we want people to just learn how to follow authority and become obedient workers. It's kind of true. So know that you have that imagination already available. You have an imagination that is available even if you didn't use it for the last 50 years. 
it's there right now. And all you have to do is just go, what do I want to bring into form? What do I want to talk about? And sit and connect. And the more you meditate, the more you'll just start seeing stuff all over the place in the invisible world. And you'll just grab it and bring it into form. So I guess that's what I was talking about today. Day 94.